Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another One Piece reaction and review. This time it's chapter 1102, titled The Life of Kuma. Uh, I just want to say before I get into this uh, whole chapter, I do have kind of a bit of a sore throat right now. I don't know if you can actually like tell just by listening to it, but I, it, it's just annoying. I don't know how much I'm going to talk in this one just because it's... <laughs> It sucks. Uh, but anyways, I would give the whole spiel about, uh, you know, that I've given for the last few chapters, which is that they could continue the backstory and they could not just because like the past few chapters have left that pretty, pretty open. But the fact that this one is titled The Life of Kuma, you know, that sounds like we're going to we're going to get some more Kuma stuff. But honestly, you know, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> like, or he could always just pull that. He could always just do something different um but anyways we're starting off with a cover request uh bonnie not wanting to stuff her face at a meal with a pack of wolves who carefully built a huge stash of hot dogs very specific but the art is very good and very cute okay yeah so we are in flashback no doubt about it no doubt about it bonnie kumachi's here Quit calling me by my name. I'm the captain, ain't I? Okay, okay, captain then. It looks like there are marines here too, though. All right, men. I wonder where this island's at. Uh, the Bonnie pirates have arrived. We've got orders to bring them in immediately. They say the last city they attacked was packed with injured seniors and even little children. <laughs> They're the worst type of scum. How, yeah, she just runs through and uh, turns them old. Uh, well, one old and one young, but uh, that pretty much, that pretty much immediately, uh, what's the word? I don't want to, it's not like disarm, but it, 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 same idea. They can't do anything now. Um, and Kuma is here. I don't know what he's doing exactly. I'm trying to figure out if maybe this is Goa Kingdom, but I don't know. A big guy. Yeah, I've seen him. He was on the outskirts of town. I can't see you, Bonnie. Please understand. Oh, he uses his paw paw card to run away. Uh, he thinks it's hard to, to believe you became a pirate of all things. But you mustn't chase after me. Where'd he go? We've already been dubbed pirates. We may as well keep searching, even if it takes a while. Right, Captain? And Bonnie says, if we're going to take it slow... Then I want to look for Nika, too. <laughs> Imagine Dad's face when I tell him I found Nika at so-and-so island. Don't you think he'd be thrilled? <laughs> and then we get a cut at uh, Luffy, what Luffy's doing right now, which he's getting his first bounty. Meanwhile, in the East Blue, having crushed the vicious fishmen of Arlong Pirates. All right, I got a bounty. Shot Luffy has stepped into the spotlight. So that's just funny, but uh, anyways... Now we're at, oh, the revolutionaries. You're going to Logtown, what for? No particular reason. Who's in charge there? That'd be Captain Smoker. Oh, so I guess this is when Dragon goes to Logtown to, and, you know, saves Luffy from Smoker that time. And maybe cause the storm, maybe not. We, you know, can't really, we can't really tell. But it seems that way. Um... We're seeing uh, Ace showing Jinbei uh, uh, Luffy's wand poster. Jinbei, Jinbei, guess whose kid brother is on this bounty poster? A brat like that, like this, took <laughs> took down Arlong? That's right, he's my kid brother. And Kuma says, what a curious twist of fate, Dragon. I think your boy would become, to think your boy would become a pirate. And then back with the Bonnie pirates. Uh, here are ironclad rules of piracy. Plunder whatever you want. In parentheses, from bad guys. Rub them blind. And don't help a, help a soul, in parentheses, unless they really need it. <laughs> Not a soul. Yes, that's it. That's exactly how you, how, how you put on lipstick. <laughs> Great, I'm totally a grown-up now. I also put this on. Daddy might not even recognize me with something on my, without something on my cheek. Oh, it's the, the piercing, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of a random reason to get it. I'm sure he'd recognize you just fine, but, you know whatever uh next 
Next, I gotta make a name for myself. That'll get his attention. Then, back at Egghead. Still in a flashback. Yeah, it's all the uh, pacifistas. This is unsettling. You think so? The progression is going as smoothly as your own modifications. Never mind that, that though, you... Never mind that, though. Did you hear the news? Apparently some rookies declared war on the world government. <laughs> what? Dragon has a son? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's... I don't know, it's just funny that... It's not common knowledge, but it's not like it's a secret. I don't think... Like... I don't know. <laughs> it. I, I guess Dragon doesn't... I, I, never mind. I guess it kind of is a secret. Dragon didn't want Kuma to notice luffy as a child and all that so yeah i guess it is kind of a secret but um if i'm going to let you study all my memories there's no point trying to hide it a man with rubber power standing up to the government what a quirk of fate he sounds just like my idol nika pe -pe -pe, that's true oh and now we're seeing uh, kuma showing up at thriller bark uh where with miss trots were there Throw about Grand Line. Uh, he says the government has given me special orders to wipe all you, you, to wipe you all out. That said, I'm sure they'd be satisfied if I only if I only brought them Straw Hat Luffy's head, hand him over, and I'll spare your lives. And of course, they're like, no way. What a shame! And then, of course, the Eurus is shock. Um, this is Zoro when he confronts. Kuma says, Luffy is the man who will become king of the pirates. If you truly mean to take his place, you must be willing... Okay, this is Kuma talking here. If you truly mean to take his place, you must be willing to bear all his pain and suffering yourself. This much damage might might be enough to even knock me out. He has exceptional friends, just as I expect of your son, Dragon. Okay, we don't get it. We don't get to see uh, uh, nothing happened again, but, you know, that's fine. And now we're near Sabati Archipelago. Um, we're calling in all seven warlords of the sea. If you refuse to come, you'll be forfeiting your title. It just says quite the statement. What's the occasion? The flag bearer of the new era, Portgas D. Ace, his public execution date has been set. This will mean war on the with the with the white beard pirates, or with the white beard pirates. I'll be sure to arrive before the execution date. Now, Sabati Archipelago, and here's Bonnie. Of course, we saw her just eating a bunch of food. I forgot what else. I guess she was kind of one of the more involved characters, other than, uh, like, Kid and Law later on. But I feel like we saw a good amount of her. Uh, where's my food? I'm wasting away here. Pizza, bring me more now. Yeah, and so she's just having a buffet. <laughs> and then <laughs> Kuma, he's... He's trying to sneak around the best he can, even though he's he, enormous. Uh, Captain, the Navy will take notice of you if you keep causing a scene. This is the last time I'll see you. Oh, he came in to see Bonnie. This is the last time I'll see your face. Become a truly indomitable pirate, Bonnie. The pirate just hit a celestial dragon. They'll send a warship from Navy HQ. <laughs> That's the human shop, yeah. And he's, he's not. <laughs> I know Kuma's not happy about that. Um, someone attacked a celestial dragon. Oh, wait, no, this is Kuma's thought. Someone attacked a celestial dragon. Who would dare do that? The whole world knows that's taboo. And we're so close to Navy HQ, too. It's practically suicide. Yeah, well, there's probably only one man who would do that. Um, or, there are others, but... In this specific situation, I guess I should say, but them again. The Straw Hat Pirates, yeah, so this is immediately after he punched him. And they're all standing there. He did to protect a fishman, Straw Hat Luffy. No one has done anything this bold for hundreds and hundreds of years. It's treason. Um, Dragon Ivachan, I hope you can forgive me. Oh, and he comes to stop the PX1. Stop PX1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did do this. I forgot about this. What, another one? Zoro, 
I didn't mean to desert you without a, okay, so is this, yeah, yeah, it's just kind of, it's, it's slightly confusing, because they're, they're speeding through this from Kuma's perspective, so it cuts from one thing to the next, so then it cuts to, he starts, uh, getting rid of the straw hats, so there's, that one's for Zoro, at least I can leave my own quiet mark on the world, through Bonnie and this young boy, their future will be the only legacy I leave behind, and of course there's the, pop 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 of him sending them all away i couldn't save any of them uh, see kuma just thinks you've got it wrong i'm just showing you that the level you have to be in the new world you and your friends just aren't ready don't go there yet after all you will you will someday save the world it's that's crazy <laughs> like we knew kuma was on our side but it's just so much more interesting to see his full thoughts on it all and like fr from this just how much he really he really was inspired or he saw a lot of potential in Luffy I guess you should say uh cut away this is back at Egghead install a self-destruct uh, this is uh Vegapunk talking he saw a self-destruct mechanism are you really that terrified of Kuma? I'm guessing this is the Gorosei here. Don't complain. Isn't his terrifying status as a human weapon you're doing? But you five already had the highest priority in the command hierarchy. And if he were to somehow go rogue when not in our presence, how would anyone else stop him? Oh. oh. Do not answer. I'm not interested in the options of a scientist here. Vegapunk says, then in exchange for me doing that, <coughs> oh, excuse me, let me keep in touch, let me keep just a touch of his ego intact. Oh, okay. You know, I guess we did see that. I, I'm still wondering if what he did uh, for the Straw Hats, protecting the ship and all that, really was the last, last thing. Or if Vegapunk, you know, made sure to leave something that even Kuma wouldn't know about. Because... I feel like, yeah, that, that could be, that could make sense in, because if, if he did that, like, he knew the government would eventually obtain complete control of Kuma, so he would, without even telling Kuma, he would leave some of his personality intact in some way. Maybe it has to be activated or something, but, and I'm, I mean, leave it intact inside of Kuma still, because if the government has complete control of Kuma, they can just get any answers out of him, like, at all. Like, they, they can get all the answers from him, so they would know what exactly what Kuma knows. So, maybe, like, Punk's keeping that a secret. That could be interesting. I'm just really wanting Kuma to come back. He does also have his memories, which I think will bring him back. That's, that's like, right now what I assume will happen. Because, like, come on. Bonnie and Kuma have to be reunited at this point. These chapters have caused too much just sadness for that not to happen. But anyways, uh, I need to get back to the chapter. Uh, Vegapunk says, let's see. Uh, I've invented a circuit for the brain that allows, me to, allows one to switch between two states of consciousness akin to a split personality if you allow me to test it. I've given the order, Vegapunk. Erase his individuality completely. Make sure to trace it. Make sure no trace of him remains. You won't be forgiven if you don't. Remember, I too am a man of science. Any attempts will de to deceive me will fail. But if we do that, Kuma won't get to reunite with Bonnie at all. <laughs> I can't believe he's just realizing that. It's good to know how you feel, Vega. Or is he... I, not, I would say is he saying that to himself, but it doesn't seem that way. Vegapunk's just kind of... He's so like science and math minded that he he he's not as good with other things and i think it's interesting um kuma says it's good to know how you feel vegapunk what i didn't think you were able to overhear <laughs> weren't you the one who gave me superhuman hearing i mean pfft. yeah sure just slow that in kuma just has so many abilities but uh all right then today is the day we erased your sense of individuality. Come on, it's only been two years, but it was fun. Yeah, I suppose it was. Uh, Vegapunk continues to say, "It's looking like your first assignment will be a, a battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. 
I've been asked to prepare a battalion of your clone soldiers for that too. Uh, once that's over and done with, there's something I'd like you to program me to do. Protect this ship of the Straw Hat Pirates. Just until one of them returns, I'd like to be a stubborn guardian for their home, since I won't be able to witness their continued growth. And Vegapunk says, what kind of future are you dreaming up for that boy? Kuma says, his actions really have really moved me. I knew, oh, Nika, I know Nika is meant to be a legend, but it'd be great if there really was a warrior out there putting smiles on faces, using the rhythm of liberation, the, libera the rhythm I taught Bonnie. And if there is out, if there is a hero out there, that change will, the, the, I am bumbling over my words so much right now. <laughs> if there is a hero out there that will change the seas one day, I believe it'll be him. Vegapunk says, a revolutionary placing their hopes on a pirate, eh? You're backing quite the dark horse, Pepe. <laughs> that unorthodox thinking is proof of your humanity. All right, before we begin, remember to push out the, those memories for my research. A promise is a promise, after all. <laughs> Does this effectively erase your memories? No, think of it as a copy. It will disappear when it's touched. It, it will disappear when it's touched, though. Yeah, so that's his memory bubble. Um, don't fret. I, I didn't, my page... Sorry, the the website was glitching out for a sec. Uh, don't fret, I've designed a system that will allow me to take peeks through tu without touching it. Place it in there. Okay, it's just another procedure. I have to be clinical about this. I'm a scientist, after all. Kuma says, so this is my life. I wonder how many people will have been harmed or troubled by my actions. Troubled? Living is nothing without trouble, shouldn't you say? Is another flashback. I guess is just going through his life with, yeah, with his parents and meeting Eva for the first time and all that stuff. Uh, and then at the end of it, he says, I can cure her. I'm so grateful. Thank goodness. And Vegapunk is just in tears right here. Which, like, of course, I, I, I wasn't sure what was going on with him. I was like, is he just so focused on the science that he's not, he he hasn't let that all set in. But it, it seems like he's just trying to put on a strong face for Kuma. I'm sure if, yeah, because I, yeah, if Kuma saw Vegapunk in tears about this, it, Kuma will not, would not want, <laughs> want to do it. Uh, but, yeah, Vegapunk's crying, he's sobbing, he says... Your life hasn't caused anyone harm or trouble, but your death will pain everyone who loves you. Listen well, Kuma, you are a hero too. Not only for Bonnie, but for everyone you've ever met. Oh, and Kuma, <laughs> Kuma's hearing this. Vegapunk hasn't turned to him, so it still, still stands true. There's just one thing, Vegapunk. Yeah, I know. I can't say how grateful I am. Yeah. Yeah, Vegapunk is destroyed by this. Thank you for saving Bonnie's life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. Kind of natural. As we end this uh, Kuma's flashback, we see Bonnie. Because she was seeing the memories. So that all, it all comes, you know, full circle. Yeah, I didn't talk about this. But it, it's great that Bonnie sees the, Kuma's memories. Because it's like. She didn't understand anything about what was going on. And now she actually gets to read the letters. That was one thing people mentioned. And just overall see that Kuma was doing everything he could to do the right thing. If you see her again, could you tell her something for me? Please wish, she, wish her a happy 10th birthday. Yeah, and she's just in tears. And that's where the chapter ends. And a break next week. Yeah, great chapter. I think we can finally definitively say that's the end of the Kuma flashback. And it was great. Uh, a lot of it, it's like hard to, it's hard to talk about just because it's, it's stuff we've seen, but from Kuma's perspective. And they didn't like waste time at all. They were very fast about it. So that's good. But, but I just don't know what else I have to say. It's just, 
yeah okay so my video went wrong with something i did the, I, I if you don't know i record these on my phone and so a notification came up on my phone and that somehow stopped the recording or something anyways i don't have too much more to say uh i was just saying it's gonna kill me that we have a break next week because i really 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 want to see uh <laughs> like the effects of this like what bonnie's gonna do now because like i i heard the idea that bonnie could join the crew and i've been like that's actually like that's possible and i'd be fine with that with everything we've seen with bonnie <laughs> but yeah i don't know what's gonna happen next now <laughs> and two whole weeks of waiting i guess i'm also really excited to see this stuff animated like i'm i'm just looking at this especially with how cool egghead is and how interesting it is and obviously with that backstory it's very emotional and all that and i think that's one thing the anime does really well is it it heightens those emotional moments just with the voice acting and the music so i'm really excited to see what they do with this in the anime i don't it's still a bit off i know the anime is like just just barely about to enter egghead but so you know that's exciting i guess we'll finally get to see egghead animated like the whole location and all that but yeah that's all i have to say about this chapter please leave your thoughts on this chapter and on this video in the comments down below remember to save the blobfish and i'll see you guys next time bye